heat in this round. So it, uh, you know, so far the Lions have been able, most of the, of the uh, uh, expected team race uh, uh, dominant teams have really kind of avoided the pitfalls of the first round so far. Nebraska 165 pounder Robert Kokesh wrestling a familiar opponent in Zach Toll of Missouri. These two have seen each other quite a few times as they square off. Minute 15, first period, Kokesh reaching, but Toll continues to have control of the head. Anthony Jones, the number 10 seed from Michigan State, going up against Oklahoma State's Albert White, the senior. Yeah, Albert White, a lot of experience in the uh, Oklahoma State room over the years. There's an ankle pick attempt there against uh, Toll. has got an ankle up of Robert Kokesh. Kokesh has been ranked as high as number three in the country this year. Comes into this with the number eight seed and drops in on a shot of his own. Gillespie from Hofstra, number 12 seed. Wrestling Scott Winston from Rutgers. Winston finished second at the EIWL tournament, automatic berth, three-time NCAA qualifier. He made it to the round of 12 last year, just falling shy of the All-American status. So Winston has had success here at the NCAA level. Both wrestlers locked up toward the edge of the mat. Kokesh in on another single leg. Short time left in the first period. This is what the, the situation you really want to try to score because you can go ahead and the 2 0 lead is huge in tight matches like this. And Kokesh, Kokesh has had several tight matches, tried to limp his arm out. And the Missouri wrestle plus for Toll was a nice job of battling. Again, you're going to stay, if, you, if you're going to try to get the upset, great defense on the feet is part of the recipe. And so far, Toll was up to it. Fleming behind his barrage in the first period, leading comfortably eight to nothing. Fleming, one of those guys, they, they tell me he wrestles with a chip on his shoulder. He is he's very aggressive. Hey, he does he's, con he's constant offense, a little bit like Zach Sanders. You know, Zach Sanders wrestles hard, hard pace. I would say, you know, Zach Sanders wrestles with a chip on his shoulder. I think that's just a subject to the coach's interpretation, <laughs> but. Uh, you like to see a guy that is moving from tie to tie, side to side, dropping in, taking the shots, and just collecting points when they're available. Two-point takedown by Kokesh. So no scoring in the first period, but he's able to get an escape takedown. That's pretty big because Kokesh is really tough in the top position, likes to work the wrists for Nebraska. Black and red singlet there in the top position. Anthony Jones of Michigan State with a two to one lead. Jones has had a nice bounce back year. He was red shirted last season due to a shoulder injury. Making his third NCAA tournament. Qualified back in 09 and 10. Missed last year with the injury, but has bounced back strong in the very competitive Big Ten Conference. Fourth at this year's Big Ten Tournament. White gets the escape. They're knotted up at two apiece. Jones has a really nice straight on double leg shot. Looks like it's available to him anytime he wants to go to that. Probably won't hit it right now because he doesn't like the fact that uh, White is a little bit, you know, he's got his rear end to the edge of the mat. So he wants to kind of flank him a little bit, get his uh, rear to the center like right now. And I would be surprised if he doesn't hit it. Great situation to add to your lead. Go, go to your the bread and butter shot, that's straight on double leg. And he's going to get backed off the mat. See, those are the little signs I look for, you know, in a, in a match. Is the guy going to hit the shot that's available to him? Again, collect the points when they're there. Take the opportunities when they're there. Don't wait till the ed ed edge, of the, edge of the mat or end of the period. You had your opponent set up the way you wanted him, and did you hit it? And if you don't, there's kind of like that self-doubt that begins to collect in the course of the match. And allow your opponent to stay a little bit closer than what he should. So, not only is your opponent, and I'm not saying that this is the instance directly in this situation, but in kind of in general speaking, is that you allow your opponent to kind of get confidence, but you also are in hindering yourself. You're kind of handcuffing yourself in, uh, in your own offense. You're not opening up the playbook. 
Winston with a two to one lead for Rutgers. Second period winding down. All Fleming, they wind down their match. Fleming with a nine nothing lead. Kokesh three to one on Tola, Missouri and Jones and White knotted up at two apiece in the second period. Fleming will get the riding time point. So James Fleming, the junior, 28 and two, the number six seed, convincing win over Dan Waddell of the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Winston had an early takedown. Gillespie with an escape. Gillespie close to getting two. As the period comes to an end, let's see if they give it to him. They do. Yeah. Right at the end of the second period. Two points for the Hofstra wrestler. He'll go into the third, leading by one. That's big points. Again, that, that's a, another seeded wrestler. And again, it's a tough weight class to seed. Albert you know, White in the top position. Anthony uh, gets the Anthony Jones gets the quick escape, escape from Michigan State. So that score now goes to three to two. Riding time not a factor. Quick stand up by Winston. Gillespie brings him right back down. Gillespie is a returning All-American. Finished eighth a year ago. Went three and three at the tournament. If Winston tries to kick out as Gillespie locks in the leg. And brings him right back down to the mat. Mike Evans, the number five seed for Iowa, wrestling Kyle Blevins of Appalachian State. Mike Evans, the uh, redshirt freshman from Iowa, has had a good season this year. Injury timeout. They're taking a look at Jones for Michigan State. He currently has the 3-2 to two lead. A little headgear problem as well. Riding time not a factor there for Jones and White. Kokesh, Nebraska, hanging on. He will win. The Huskers pick up another victory in this opening round. 4-1 to one decision. He's able to beat Zach Toll of Missouri. See if Winston goes back into a stand-up. He tries to. Coming back into that tripod stand-up, you notice how uh, Gillespie has his right shoulder underneath the, uh, the, the tricep or behind the tricep. And there's hand fighting in there, trying to keep the wrist free, and he's going to go ahead and big move situation here, bear hug. Nice job by Gillespie of staying with that. Notice how he didn't let create any hip separation, didn't allow Winston to separate his hips. Winston did the right thing, just basically kind of uh, bail out of that. A couple of tight bouts, both in the third period. Jones and White, Michigan State, Oklahoma State, 3-2 Jones and Gillespie and Winston. Hofstra, Rutgers, 3-2 Gillespie with the advantage. Well, look at this situation here with Mike Evans from uh, Iowa. Got the leg in. He's pretty tough in the top position. I think really tough. Seen him really be able to go ahead and control guys in tough situations and also... Uh, uh, get, get back points. He probably works the old crossbody ride as good as anybody in the country right now. We should mention Gillespie has riding time advantage, so really he's looking at a two-point lead with Winston. Rutgers wrestler needs to shoot, and he needs to do it in a hurry, down to 15 seconds. Yeah, right there he needs to just push him off the mat so he'd get a new start. So it's not an opportunity to go ahead and, and, and hit his, his best shot. Anthony Jones is added to the lead. It looks like Michigan State's going to get a victory here. Jones for the Spartans, a 5-2 lead. He will hold White there, and it will be a decision win. So Anthony Jones, the number 10 seed, Michigan State, 5-2 decision. Winston was able to get the escape, but as we mentioned, riding time was a factor, so that turns out to be the difference, and it's a victory for P.J. Gillespie of Hofstra, 4-3. He moves into the second round. And I think a, an important match to watch also is, is Cody Yon here from the University of Minnesota. He's been a guy who's... who's